Malian refugees, too, are wearing the yellow vest. More than a sign of protest against the French government, it's a symbol of despair, or ras-le-bol, like they say in France. Six years since the French military intervention in northern Mali, and a combined 25,000 soldiers on the ground, these Tuaregs from the Sahel still cannot go home. There's no peace. There are agreements, but the war continues, and we, the people, are threatened. How can we keep living like this? They are the five presidents of the G5 Sahel. They've sent a joint military force in another bid to regain control of an area mostly in the hands of rebel groups. We need to reinforce the trust of the people of the Sahel in their institutions. To help us put words into action, help us with our G5 development plan. And so one after the other international donors announce their contribution. Funds that will go to development projects such as solar and wind energy, a new railway line, roads, airports, and even a new G5 Sahel airline. At stake is the stability of a region as big as the United States, where most of the 100 million people don't have access to electricity or water or a hospital or school to go to. The European Union wants to stop the flow of illegal migration to their continent. They are one of the largest contributors. We need to do something special because the situation in the center of Mali, for example, is really uh, difficult for the time being. Uh, the extremism now is reaching Burkina Faso. It's important to, to avoid that uh, this uh, spread of extremism is, uh, is continuing in the future. But can those leading military operation in the Sahel also be the ones bringing peace? Not to these Tuareg refugees. Winning hearts and minds will not be easy. While the humanitarian situation continues to deteriorate, so much money has been raised in the name of the people of the Sahel. And yet, they have so far seen so little of it. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Nouakchott.